Slasher is about a series of murders in a small town. These are murders that are based on a killing that happened in the late 1980s. The daughter of the first people that were killed comes back to her small town and the murders start happening all over again. I think she's trying to understand why the executioner did what he did. And she still has the house the parents were murdered in, so her and her husband moved back to try and start a new life and move forward. What happened here before? Yeah, it doesn't matter. The only thing that matters is what we put into this place, mm. you and me. I think she wanted to face her demons. You learn from Sarah's backstory that she has been running away from her past and from the horror of where she came from. And pretending it didn't happen hasn't worked. So the best thing that she can now think of to do is to go back and face it and, and put it behind her that way. I think a lot of viewers will be able to identify with Sarah moving back to her hometown. And maybe not necessarily dealing with your parents' murder, but you know, we all have demons that we have to battle. I've had to battle some demons the last few years of, of my life, so I certainly relate to uh, what Sarah's going through, and I think a lot of people will. Is my wife typically front page news? The murders were big around here, I get it, but it happened almost 30 years ago. Oh. The husband and wife were slaughtered in their house. The wife is nine months pregnant, and the baby is cut from her womb. Now that same baby, all grown up, moves back into her old house. I don't know what they taught you in J school, but um, that is a story. I play her husband, Dylan Bennett. Um, I'm very much in support of her moving back, so we move back together. I get a job at the local paper, and upon us moving back, all of a sudden, it's mayhem and these murders start happening again. The residents of Waterbury, they are inevitably suspects in what ends up being a number of murders, horrible situations that I think the audience has never seen before. All the characters in this show have some dark secret that, that's putting them on the radar of the executioner. You think he, he, you know who they are from first sight, but the more you get to know them, you know, everybody's got a little something here and there. You know, we're not one-dimensional people. Everybody does have sort of, I don't want to say valid motivation because there's never any valid motivation to go on a killing rampage, but if I think from the viewer's uh, perspective, I think they'll see something in every character that could like legitimize them as, as the executioner. Halloween really became a touchstone for us, and uh, we watched that a lot. And then uh, for me too, I mean, just a lot of films from that era, uh, specifically Brian De Palma and Dario Argento, anything where there was just a ludicrous amount of uh, blood and just a gleeful sense of mayhem were huge influences. And then just some modern films, uh, especially uh, this film called uh, It Follows was a really big influence for us shooting the show. It's gonna be okay. No, Sarah, it isn't. I want to protect you, but tell me, how do I do that? You're in danger. Aaron writes strong female characters, but he writes it in such a way that there's so many mitigating factors that when I'm working on a part like this, you think I can put myself in that position. I know what it might have felt like at that time and why I might have done something like this. So his female characters really drive this story. It's the young Katie and then all the women that are around in all the different stories that get affected in this little town. I think she feels guilty about that. She's come back to the town, all these murders have started happening and then also she feels like she's the cause of them and so it, the weight on her shoulders is that she has to solve them and she's going to stand up to the executioner like she could when she was a baby but then also the responsibility. I think ultimately Sarah coming back to Waterbury is for her to have a sense of closure on the events that happened to her in her life. A lot of people relate to that right away. I think that's a, a fascinating adventure that she just can't not do. Quite a few red herrings that you'll be chasing in this going, oh, I know exactly, he did it or she did it. No, he did. And then you'll be really surprised uh, at the end when you find out who it really is. You'll always have a hybrid with horror shows where you really end up with a really dramatic element to it. You have to really build up characters and fall in love with them so when they're ripped away from you, it really means something. Okay.